Hey guys, Stellar here. All right, I'm back with another Stellar Speaks video. And today I'm just talking about random things. I'm probably going to go off in a hundred different directions. Um, but I have been asked a few questions about my thoughts and opinions on Trisha resurfacing. So I just thought I would make a video to share my thoughts and opinions with all of you. So if you guys want to hear what I have to say, then stay tuned. Um, I'm just sharing my, my thoughts and opinions. All my thoughts and opinions. Nobody has manipulated me. These are all just what my ideas that are in my head. All right, so what do I think about the situation? Well, for starters, I told you so. I mean, you know, that's such a pessimistic way to be about it, but I told you guys so. I knew that this was going to happen. Now, I had wished, I had wished for the best. Uh, you know, there were rumors going around, speculations going around that she had jetted off to go get some type of help, some type of rehab, and I had really hoped that for her. I really did hope that she was getting help for her addiction. She's clearly addicted to the drama, the internet, all this stuff. So I'd hope for the best. But in my opinion, she didn't go anywhere to get help. And she's not really looking to change because she has so easily jumped back into the garbage that she was involved with before. You know, and it's sad. It's sad because it's like, and I said this in a tweet to someone, I said, she lives in reverse. You know, the whole point of getting better, moving on, is to go forward. And here, she's going in reverse. She's going and revisiting all this old crap that she's been through. Um, do I think it's going to end? No, I think it's going to continue to escalate. Uh, you know, when she was doing her little motivational minute videos, I thought, oh, okay, she looks a little awkward, but, you know, why is she doing this? She's putting her foot, you know, she's starting to put her foot in the drama, Soon enough, it's going to be full-blown drama. Um, you know, in those motivational videos, I watched a few of them, and she just didn't seem to buy what she was trying to sell. So I was just like, it's only a matter of time before she's back to doing what she's doing. You know, I've watched this woman for over two years now, and it's always the same. You know, it's rinse and repeat. And I think that's the whole situation that's going to happen, especially if people engage with her. Now, who am I? You know, who am I? I'm, I'm just seller, celery, Stella. You know, I have opinions. Do my opinions about Trisha matter? No. Are, are my opinions going to change her life? No. But the reason why I thought I would come on and share my thoughts and opinions, as I do in other videos, is just to do that, share my thoughts and opinions, but not only that, hopefully give some insight on, on the situation that might help somebody out, whether it be Trisha, maybe she watches my video, you know, and she just maybe hears something and something clicks. I mean, that could be, that would be my biggest hope. Uh, you know, I'm not a therapist. I'm not a, a psychiatrist. I'm not any of these things. I'm just me. I've learned from life experiences, but you know, I have found that so many of us here on YouTube, we share the same thoughts. And I know from some of the comments that I get, a lot of people have the same thoughts, but they just don't know how to word them. You know, they're always telling me, oh, Celery, you know, you're so, um, you say what I have, I'm thinking, I just don't know how to say it. Or I don't make videos and I like to listen to you. And, and that makes me feel great. I'm no, nothing special. I'm just a, a woman that has grown a lot in my life. Um, and when I see these particular situations, I, I guess I kind of put myself in her shoes and just think, why, why go back to all the things that caused you so much grief and pain and, you know, I made you feel just horrible. Why go back to that? Why? You know, I got wind that she's buying domains. So I'm like, oh my gosh, she's going down the same road. They caused her all this grief. And why in the world, if you are so secure and so confident and so happy and so everything with your life, would you put yourself in that position? You know, I myself have gone through things in my life. I don't go back and revisit them. I go forward. I keep moving forward. And my life is far from perfect, but I live it as perfect as I can for myself. And I won't let little things come into my life that I know are going to cause me grief. And I think that's one of the biggest things that I see here on YouTube 
is that there's so many people that will get on their platform and they'll moan and cry and whine and, oh my God, the trolls, you know, the trolls come and attack me and I'm being hounded and I'm being this and, oh my gosh, you know, they come into my chat and they do this. But you are the one that chooses to push record and put yourself in that situation. Why? Why do you allow these people to do that to you? Nobody else is allowing it but yourself. You know, and I'm not talking about one person in particular here because I am seeing it all over the place where people are just getting upset because they are just being consumed by whether it be hate or drama, whatever. It's just consuming them and it's making their lives miserable. I mean, when you have people getting a live stream, breaking down or just exploding or, um, you know, showing things they shouldn't be showing. Um, it, it's like, hello, wake up, wake up to reality. This is YouTube and it's not worth it. It's not worth putting your sanity on the line. And I haven't experienced a lot of the negativity that others have. I've seen it, but I myself have never experienced it firsthand. Um, I have had a few, very few comments that kind of not so much got to me, but it, it, it irritates me when people will, I guess, kind of lecture me like, oh, you know, you should let this go. And you should. it's like, why are you worried about what I'm talking about? If you don't like what I'm talking about, then don't listen to what I have to say. But, you know, I don't engage with them. I usually come back with some smart ass answer because it's like when you really stop and think about it, you're like, Stella, come on. Do these people know you? Do these people affect you? Do you see these people when you go outside your house? Do these people come to your house? Do these people m matter? And the bottom line is, no, they don't. So if people do not matter in your life, in your world, why are you allowing them to matter when they say stupid things on the internet? I don't understand that. I don't understand it. Um, I don't know. Some people really have that combative um, personality where it's they want to have the last word. You know, if somebody says something about them, oh, well, I got to come back and I got to say this and I got to say that. And it keeps on going back and forth. And, oh, let me get nastier. Then the other person gets nastier. And it's just they like that combativeness. So they keep on doing it. They like to argue. You know, they want to win that argument. And it's, it's like at what point... What makes it worth it? What makes it worth it? You looking like a fool? Is that worth it? For people to be like, holy crap, this person's nuts. So another reason I wanted to make this video is to plea to those of you that Trisha is trying to poke at. Um, please just ignore her. Ignore her. I mean, this whole thing has been played out before. She's going back to the same people trying to poke and provoke the same people that she has had issues with before. And if you guys fall for it, I'm sorry, I hate to say it, but you're being pretty stupid because, you know, the ones that are involved with Trisha mouthing off at them, you know this is her MO. You know this is what she does. So please, 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 please. Please don't even give her any more fuel. Don't add fuel to her fire. Um, this is old. It's going to be the same crap. It's dredging up the same old drama over and over. It was nice and quiet for a while. Yes, we had more drama with somebody else. But, you know, if we just ignore these people, just don't even give them the attention they are seeking, demanding, wanting. If nobody's willing to play along with them, then who's going to play with them? Let them find somebody else new. Let them, let them do their own thing. But please, anyone that has been involved with the whole Trisha fiasco, just let it go. Let it go. It's so 2017. It's old. It's old. It's old. So please, if you guys love Seller, please just let this go. Don't even play the game there. Uh, it's, it's, She's so predictable. She's so predictable. I could read her like a book. I could read her like a book. You know, it just, she keeps on trying to say her life is so happy and so wonderful. Then why in the world is she going in reverse and reliving everything and everyone that has caused her so much grief 
agony and distress. I don't get it. I don't buy it. Life isn't as happy, peachy keen as she's making it out to be. So in conclusion, what are my thoughts on Trisha coming back and doing drama? I didn't expect anything different. I knew it was only a matter of time. The woman loves drama. The woman loves the negative attention. And it will continue, especially if people feed into it and give her exactly what she wants. Best way you can avoid going down this road again is just to pay her no mind, pay her no attention. I have said this since day one. She is a very narcissistic person. Whether she believes it or not, she's a narcissist. And the way to defeat a narcissist is to ignore them. They do not like to be ignored. Ignore them and finally they'll just wither away. But it will continue as long as people give her what she wants. So anyway, that's all I have to say about Trisha. I'm not doing videos about her. I'm not watching her other than what I read. I don't care to know about her. Um, I just don't want her to start hurting people the way she has in the past. And I believe that that's what's going to happen. She's going to go after the very same people that she hurt before because she knows that she can get a response from them. So any of you, please, I beg you, beg you, beg you, don't play the game. Don't play the game. All right, so I'm done with that. Um, one other thing I wanted to talk about very quickly is the hypocrisy that I see on YouTube. You know, and it's not only YouTube. It's Twitter, Facebook, reality, real life. People are just so hypocritical. And I just don't understand, like, when you point it out to them, they don't see it. You know, I've had people tell me, you know, to stop talking about certain people or to let it go, let it go. But yet, they themselves are involved with um, drama with other people. So it's like, you know, you're being a hypocrite when you say, well, oh, you know, just let it go. You're too involved with the drama, yet your nose is in the drama all the time. It, you know, it, it just, it's so weird to me how people can be so hypocritical and just not see it. And another thing is when people are constantly telling their viewers, oh, they're just jealous. They're just jealous. Everybody's just jealous of me. You're jealous of me. You have no life. Why don't you go out and get a life? You know, I, I find that just too easy of a cop-out to say those things when I guess you really don't know how to have a comeback. So you just throw, oh, you're jealous. You don't have a life. Um, for myself, I don't carry jealousy towards other people. Um, I'm not a jealous person. Because I always want the best for people. I really want to see people achieve what they want, their goals. I want them to move forward. If somebody gets a new car, I'm super happy for them. If they get a new house, that's exciting. That's great. New job promotion, wonderful. I, I don't live in jealousy. I'm not like, oh my gosh, you know, they got, they got a better car than me. Mm. I want people to succeed in life. Everyone should want to succeed in life. Everyone should want to see everyone else succeed in life. You know, I don't hold on to jealousy nor hatred. I don't hold on to those emotions because they're such strong emotions. I don't want the responsibility of that emotion. So when I hear someone say, oh, they're just jealous, I'm like, please tell me what I'm jealous of. What do you have that I'm so jealous of? I'm not jealous of somebody living their life in a bed living their life on YouTube. You know, I live my life every day with my family and my friends. I take some time to get on YouTube to check out some chats because I have made, you know, many uh, a, a friend here on YouTube and I enjoy going in and chatting with them when I have the time to. When I have the time, I like to make videos. But no one here on YouTube has a life that I am completely envious and jealous of. That's ridiculous. But, you know, it's hypocrisy. It's hypocrisy. Makes themselves feel better. And to tell someone to go get a life when they are clearly not living life is a joke. So anyway, I could go on and on and on. You know what? I enjoy giving people insights that maybe 
makes them see situations in a different way, if that makes sense. So anyway, that's all I have for right now. I hope that you guys have an awesome day and be sure to keep cool.